Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I'm back with another spine I'm going to create and I've got this little book um, and it has a very small spine as you see so I don't know what it's covered with it I don't think it's leather but it's like a faux leather and I don't know how old the book is. Probably early 1900s. Oh, 19, oh, the year I was born, 1970. There you go. So it's not that old, but it's cute. I like the cover. So what do you do when there's, when there's a spine like that? Well, you just cut it out and then do what we did yesterday or, yeah, or, or other methods of binding. So you just cut the spine off in that case. So anyway, what I was thinking was I spoke about... Um, using embroideries um if you don't embroider you like using embroideries to um embellish things to get that handmade sort of look and these are bits and pieces that i've cut out of things in the past and i had them in a box and i'd forgotten about this box i haven't looked at it for ages and it's just got all cut out bits and pieces um oh there's a little bit of cheesecloth to to dye and just you know i just cut out random things I might pull that out and um yeah so flowers from fabrics to embroider and that sort of thing so um eventually i'll use use up what's in there so i thought maybe today we'd work on just put together this spine um and then decide I, I might probably won't finish the project today but i had this lovely piece of antique hemp it's loosely woven so it won't be too bad to stitch i don't even care that it's crooked like that and i, I and then i have this lovely piece of uh linen with the buttonholes that i liked for my tag the other day and i thought i might just stitch that on there and then decide what to do so we're you know we're reusing all of these random pieces of fabric and things so how is everyone today um as i said i probably won't finish this project today um, but we might continue it on tomorrow how about that like we might put this the spine sort of together tomorrow we'll just see how much stitching we get done and i will do like quite a lot i haven't read all the comments yet um because i was going to do that this morning and then my sister called me I probably should put a few pins in, otherwise it'll move. I haven't read all the comments, so, um, yeah. But I did see a few say, oh, I would have liked to have seen the embroidery on the fabric. So we will do one of those as well. We will do. We can do it all. We, there's, no, there's no rules. We can do whatever we want. So I'm just going to quickly go around this. It won't take long. And, uh, and then we can place the embroidery and I'll show you what I was thinking that embroidery is very big compared to the uh, um, to the book but I thought actually it could become a kind of feature on the front of the book depending on how I place it so as you can see we'll just quickly go around and I like stitching random bits of fabric together like this I really enjoy it it's something I like the unevenness of it all, the fraying. Okay, so I thought my ring light was broken yesterday. All of a sudden it stopped working and I was going to go and turn it off and then I, it just sort of went off. And so I bought a new one because I thought, oh no, I can't not have a ring light because that's why you see such a good light here. Even though I'm in front of my, in front of my window, um, I do get good light from the ring light. And I had, a, I had bought a very inexpensive one. I think I probably only paid 12 euro for it, something ridiculous like that. And so I thought, oh, you know, that's what you get. You buy a cheapo and and it doesn't work anymore. And so I quickly bought one on Amazon because I knew it would arrive today. So it's I've got it on. It's actually a much better one. I bought a better one. Anyway, then that I plugged it in and it wasn't working. I'm like, oh, gosh, it wasn't broken. You know what was broken? The extension thing. So I went and I said to Steffi, do we have another extension thing? And he said, no. And I said, I'm sure we do. And and then he looked in the box where he keeps all the cords. And he's like, oh, yes, we have one. So I put that in and lo and behold, it's working. And so is the other one. So now I've got two. But the other one's cheap. So I put the other one away in the cupboard and I'm using the, the, the good one. I didn't think to check that it might be the 
extension cord might have broken something inside so there you go um yeah so now i've got two ring lights but i've got a good one and a and a cheapy so i don't think i don't know that i i've have seen some that you can change the the lead light in there i guess they're lead lights this one looks like i might be able to i'll have to have a look on the listing in on um Amazon. I don't, and why I would never buy one that's really expensive. So, if it lasts me an amount of years, then that's good. The other one lasted me quite a long time, but well, it's still going actually. So, um, oh, it's probably good to have two of these essential things just in case one one dies. You've got a, a backup sort of thing. When I'm using it every single day, almost we do get great light from it, don't you? You get a very even spread of light in the videos. So, I mean, I just, yeah, I have all these. I have a whole box full of broken uh, book covers or ones with small spines. And and I was thinking about it and I was thinking, actually, I'm probably more excited about one that's broken than one that's intact. Isn't that silly? Because I can just, I don't see that it's broken. I just see um, that it's old and that makes me happy. And, and then I just see possibilities. That's what I see when I see a broken book cover. Um, so that's done. We've stitched that. See, I chatted away and we got around there very quickly. And now we have to do the next bit. Right. So I think that'll be the top and that'll be the bottom. And then here, I don't want to cover up. I want to at least be able to see one buttonhole. So I was thinking that could go there. And if I grab the book, like obviously I'm going to increase the spine. So I've got to account for that. So maybe, you know, the spine will be like that or bigger. I don't know. But I was thinking if I put that on there like that, when I glue it to the book, that, I need to put it up a bit higher, that will go onto the cover. And I think that'll be really interesting. So I need to put that there. I think oh, I'll get to see both buttonhole covers too. So, okay, buttonholes, I should say. So I'm going to pin that down there. And I'm going to grab a bit more of this thread. Oh, actually, but this is probably enough. And I'm just going to, just so you can't see it for this bit, I'm going to stitch this bit here because I have to go through the flower to stitch it to the fabric so I'm going to do little teeny tiny stitches if I can and just go through the flower to stitch it to my piece of fabric underneath love this flower I have used this to bits this one I don't I don't know I think this is probably the last of it it was a lovely linen um, table I don't know, I can't remember how big it was, but um, I loved, loved, loved the embroidery on it. It was like it had holes and it was damaged and things, so I didn't have any problem cutting it up, but I have really enjoyed it. I'm just going to keep on stitching around with my cotton just to finish it off. So this is an example of you reusing a hand embroidery and obviously... Something that's more, if you're selling them, it's more cost effective, isn't it? Because you haven't taken quite as long. I'm not going to worry too much about the knot because that's going to have lots of glue under it anyway. And it will glue it in place. Now, the reason why I haven't gone around with that cotton is I'm thinking I might use, if I have it here. I thought I was clever and brought everything in, but you know, no, not so clever. I don't, I thought it was in my messy box here, but it's not. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not there. My um, my my beige, one of these. It's nearly finished, actually. I think I've got another one. Just a minute. Of course, I've got another one. I do. I have another. I have another one. This one is. Oh, this one's number eight as well. It's looking a bit. It's feeling a bit thinner to the other one. I must have bought another two because I use it so often um, years ago that I bought two. 
So I want to stitch that down. I think I'm going to whip stitch around with this color because I don't want to detract away. But I'm thinking I might like some sort of, I don't think I want bright pink ticking, but I might like the, the navy ticking. Let me just grab it. see it where's it gone where has it gone it's up here it was up here no I can't see it there <gasps> where's it gone okay well I have a piece on here that I had pinned it to this fabric I'll just take that one I just randomly pin things down oh yes this is gonna look fantastic I randomly pin things down just because I like them I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go that way, but I have to take a little bit off. Well, I'll take enough off that I can just use that little bit somewhere. I want to put that there. Maybe there. No, a bit further in. Okay, that's going to go there. Great. And I always just keep on checking that I'm on track. Just a minute. So I want that to go. Oh, it's going to be a little bit too long. Maybe like that. Don't forget that the spine, isn't that gorgeous? I think that's going to be really nice. Well, I think it's gorgeous. Um, the spine is going to be deeper, so... I mean, that would be, wouldn't that be lovely put onto a bag? Or that could even, in a bigger journal, be on the cover. You just sort of throw things together. So I'll whip stitch around the flower. It won't take long. I'll start, I'll start down here. Even though I've already stitched that, just so it looks similar. I won't stitch around the blue flowers, I don't think. I don't think they'll need it. Oh dear, I'm getting, I've, I've tangled. How have, I, how have I done that? Oh, I've gone through there. What a goose. Start again. Now, why won't you come out? Oh, because I was putting, holding onto it. I'm trying to thread my needle here. Oh, I bought a new threader. I should get that and show you. I was looking, someone asked me the name of my threader that I use for the thicker thicker threads. And I don't know the name of it um, because I bought it a long time ago in Sydney and I don't have the packaging. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but I looked on Amazon, Italian Amazon, obviously. We can get le obviously much less stuff than you can in the States or probably even than the UK. Um so I didn't find that particular type, but I found a clover one that looked good. So I think I'll, I'll stitch this and then if I remember, I'll hop up and grab it because I haven't pulled it out of the package yet. It just arrived. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like, but it looks good. And it looks quite robust that you can thread quite, you know, strong sort of, threads in there, flosses or wools and things like that. So we'll just whiz around here, it won't take too long. Probably take out this pin. Okay, we'll be there in a minute. Oh, it's a little bit thick there. And I'm going to jump across here and stitch this. So you could do as much or as little as you want with this sort of 
stitching. You probably all think I'm weird. I do with these weird things. Okay, so I'm just quiet, I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing. It's very easy stitching this. Okay, I'm still I'm sort of while I'm stitching away, I'm thinking what's next. And I'm not quite sure what what is next, actually, if I'm honest. I don't know. Don't know what's next. Oh, once it's stitched down, I really like it. I feel like it really starts to come together. Just going to tuck that thread in there. Okay, I'll end this one off and get another piece. I've only got a little bit to stitch there. And then we can sit and look at it and think, what's next? And as the Aussies would say, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I didn't go and get my threader, did I? I'd like to try it. Okay. a little bit thick here for some reason it's a beautiful day here it's um it's very sunny and beautiful but it it's windy that and it's an icy cold wind coming from well, my mother-in-law, we went for a walk before and she said that it's coming across the Balkan. So it's coming from, from Russia. So it's very cold, icy wind. In fact, it was almost giving me like a, I could feel the wind going into my ear, which was weird. And I felt like I was getting an earache while I was walking along. That's how chilly it was. Lucky I put, I didn't wear a jacket because we, we walked and, and then I get hot. So I didn't wear a jacket, but I did have a scarf on and I thought, thank goodness I put a scarf on. So I would have had the wind blowing down my neck.
Okay, so that's all stitched on. That didn't take too long, did it? So now I need to sit and stare at it for a minute and think, oh gosh, what's next? I need to stitch that down, but with what thread will I use? Maybe I'll use a blue thread. And we haven't put any lace on. Lace would be good. Let's just cut off something, but it's a nice piece of lace. No, not there. I don't want to cover anything up. That's my thing. I don't want to cover it up. It would be quite nice there. It's got this thick, chunky bit here. I don't think I can pull that off. Can I? No. And I might need my thread ripper. No, can't get that off. Um... I need to stitch this down, but I haven't stitched it down yet because I haven't decided what colour thread I want. Let's have a look in here. Not that colour's too bright. Just a sec. This is a good colour. I don't think I want to put that there. But I'll put a little bit of stitching here with that. Just a, a few rows. It's not going to be anything complex. I don't think I want that there. Just double. These are other flowers from that same piece, but we don't went. We don't need any more. I don't think on this piece. So we'll put those aside for another day. Um, I would like maybe a bit of that thread, but not on there. Okay. Um, no, not that colour. It needs to be more like this colour, but no, I don't. Put a bit of that there. No. Too dull. That would be better there. That's that dull one again. So I think I'm going to go round. I'm going to go round. Let me just see these in my speciality threads over here. Let's just see these ones. Maybe that one there. Uh, oh, oh, this is nice. This oh, this is the one I used the other day. No, not that one. No. Yeah, I think I'll use that one there. Okay. I just got to sit more comfortably in my chair. I'm feeling a bit rigid. I'll take that out. And I want to use this one. I'm going to stitch around that. I think this is a hand dyed one. That's why it's in that box. And it kind of is similar to that color. So that's good. Okay, I think I'll use three strands. And I'm just going to do a, I don't know what you call it, it's kind of like a loose, it's like a whip stitch or an overcast stitch, but it's a bit more like a loose, they're sort of next to each other, if you know what I mean, a bit loose sort of, well it's not satin stitch, but you know what I mean.
Oh, someone asked me about my, um, the laundry labels that I put on yesterday's book. Just a sec, here it is. These. Uh, those, uh, I did not make those. Someone asked me if I made them. I didn't make them. Um, they're old ones. They're old French ones. And I bought a pack of them on Etsy, but she doesn't have them at the moment. Sometimes they go back in her shop, but she sells them out really quickly. And she just has um, mixed bags of them. But I'm pretty sure that there aren't any there at the moment. But you can buy them. Let's look up French laundry labels. And you can buy them, you know, like a whole box of them. And But there'll be a whole box of the same, same initial. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing this over stitch, but I'm coming instead of um, I'm, what I'm doing, rather than going there down here and coming up here, I go down here and I come up next to it and you just uh, use less thread. It's, you don't, I, I do it more, not so much to save the thread because the thread doesn't, it's not that expensive and you don't use that much of it for this sort of thing, but it's more so I don't have to stop and start all the time re-threading and you get little two rows of little stitches like that that look like a running stitch see you just come up next to it I'm trying to go as fast as I can that. Still, I mean, it's not like if you do start doing this sort of thing and changing your threads and doing a little bit of stitchery on it, it's not uh, like it takes 10 minutes to do it. But it's much less time than if you actually sat down and embroidered the flower. We're nearly there and I've only used one I haven't had to change my thread at all if I had done it the other way I would have had to stop and and get a new piece of thread but I've made it all the way around nearly without having to change Okay. Okay, so that's that. I put my threads, mostly I put them away in through the little hole there. The, you know the extra bit left over that just tucks in there and then I wrap it around and then I can use that next time okay so what's next I was thinking a little bit of this color would be nice this is a 598 or oh, this is one of my favorite DMC colors for the embroidery no the six strand embroidery floss one of my faves. Um, how many is there? I don't want four. I'll have three. It 
press them and now I cannot get this to go in, can I? I should have my threader. So I think I'm just going to do a couple of rows of running stitch here. Okay, so I think, now maybe I'll do, when I do three or five, I think I'll do five rows. Oops. It's got a knot here. Let's pull it out, okay, and go down. And do I want to do any more? No, I think I won't do any more in that bit, but I'll do some more somewhere else. I think I might do a little bit of stitching up here as well. And these little pieces, you can just sit, you know, with your bits and pieces in a basket just pull them out and stitch them together and just have them there and then find a, a use for them even. Like you don't have to necessarily have a project in mind exactly. If you can hear chitter chatter, faint hit should be faint chitter chatter because the door's shut. That's Lily. She's having a um, a video call with her friends, which I'm happy about. The poor things, they they can't see each other, but they have they seem to giggle a lot and have great fun. So that's good to I like hearing that. Oopsie. And I'm going to go across even onto this bit here, I think. I may know a bit longer I want to go. Okay. So not that. And then let's just see one more little bit. No, I think I'll go with the other colour, this colour. This one is 967 DMC Six Stranded Embroidery Floss. So I'm not using any sort of, except for that was a hand dyed one, but I'm sure you could find a DMC that colour. It's not like, it's not variegated or anything like that. So let me see how many threads do I have here. I've got three. 
I'll just use all three. I was thinking it'd be fun to just go around the button, the buttonhole there for something different. Again, just with a little running stitch, I'll just try and do a teeny tiny one just to accentuate it. Try and keep it really small. So I hope everybody is well and having a lovely weekend. I'm feeling very relaxed, so that's why I'm probably not so chatty today. I'm just sort of relaxing and enjoying it. Okay. I know it looks totally weird, but it, it'll come together. It will. I think it will. Or it could be a total disaster. That could also happen. So let's go around this one. Around we go. I'm going to end up with all these covers and there's going to be nothing in them. Oh, well, that's handy too, isn't it? And you can just let the cover decide what's going to go in the journal. I probably would have preferred just two strands, a little bit thinner, but um, just around those buttonholes because it sort of stands out quite a lot with three strands but I just want didn't like want to leave one strand okay I'm wondering if we want anything else oh I think that's going to be really pretty I'm wondering I don't think I want any beads anywhere but I just want to have a look I'm just grabbing them Okay, definitely not that colour, those colours. Just let me put those. Oh my goodness, everything's going to fall down on top of me. These colours, excuse me, here I come. I'm not quite sure, do I want to put beads on there or not? I don't really, oh there's a few orangey beads in there. Don't really want. Don't know. They're just a, a, a random mix that have accidentally fallen together. Um, but I do have like turquoisey sort of beads, but I don't know if I want beads. These are quite nice. I think that's a bit random to put the beads on there. Um, I don't think I will put beads on there. Not on this one. Maybe on the next one. So no beads. If you're wondering about these storage, um, the beads, these I saw on Melanie's channel. They're called Bead Storage Solutions Elizabeth Ward. They're not cheap. I will say that. They are not cheap. But I only had to buy two. And I bought one and then I waited and then I bought another one. Um... But the best storage system for beads. So I think I'll stop the video here. And tomorrow we will build the new spine in this one. That's what we'll do. We'll cut this out. We'll sh I'll show you the cutting. And, um, and then we'll build the spine and construct the book. Which I'm looking forward to. I'll look, I'll look forward to that. 
I think. Yeah, so we'll see what, and then we'll see what it's going to look like. I think it's going to be pretty. Yeah, so just say it's going to be maybe like this. It'll build the spine. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed that. And just showing you an idea how to use um, embroideries and a little bit of slow stitching there. Really simple, super easy thing to do in front of the TV. Pull out, just have a basket of pretty bits that you like and just pull them out. And like all these little bits, you just pull them out and lay them on top of each other. And just start, just start sort of stitching away. You can put the other leaves in there from another. You don't have to use even embroideries from the same embroidery. They can be bits and pieces. You can re sort of redo the composition sort of thing. Like even that, that could, that well, that's really cute. Um, probably don't need that piece on there, probably a different piece. But yeah, you can do really cute things with all your little bits and pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, just a relaxing Saturday video. And I will see you again soon. Bye.